Well, uh, this presentation is really linked a lot uh, with the title of the session that with uh, Carlo Bianchini, uh, Carlo Inglese, me and uh, Luca Senatore uh, thought about uh, uh, a way to uh, explore better, better the representation uh, of uh, archaeological architecture. We are using this term since maybe uh, seven, eight uh, years ago. Uh, and uh, in this presentation, we want to show uh, our point of view uh, and uh, what we had in this year. Uh, uh, this is an image derived from the... Uh, this is an image derived from the... Uh, uh, from our study about the Colosseum. Uh, there are four models. Uh, it's a study that we had 20 years ago. Yes. More. Più di vent'anni fa. 1990. It was on 2000. No new technologies or some new technologies, but not so user friendly and so easier to use that. Uh, we are working a lot on cultural heritage, 12 years, maybe. And for me, for our researchers, uh, we are also Italians, uh, is a very important point. And for that, we wanted to start with this sentence. Cultural heritage is considered a universal public good, eligible for public funding. Important. Really important. Well, <clears throat> obviously, as I told you, we are architects, and so we have a formation we studied with uh, a lot of uh, uh, things about uh, archaeology, but from only from the architectural point of view. Uh, in our uh, academy, uh, students are obliged to have not less than four examination on historic architecture. So, it's a very important point. But in the last 10 years we are working a lot with archaeologists. Well, um, some uh, point of view about uh, archaeology and architecture. Uh, knowledge, representation, communication is more or less the same that we have in uh, uh, architecture, so, so knowledge, tools for the correct historical and medical analysis, representation, traditional methodologies, communication, new tools for surveying the essential for analysis and knowledge, but as usual, more or less also like architecture, not created for archaeology and slash architecture. Architecture, uh, we want to start the sentence that my professor <laughs> uses a lot is uh, deep knowledge, conoscenza profonda, is a uh, discard sentence. Uh, I was the first lesson that I had him, you, he used a lot. And it's an important point, it's a, an important starting point. For us, we are professor on drawings, so representation is really an important point of view, it's an important point important from 2D till 3D, from scale 1 to 1 to 1 with everything. Uh, communication, we are working a lot about communication, and digital tools, and uh, we worked a lot on 3D models for the communication. Um, obviously, uh, the only way that we think that now is uh, the right uh, uh, way to uh, obtain a strong uh, research is the integrations between different profiles. In this case, we are speaking about archaeologists and uh, uh, architects. So, uh, just to uh, find important points, starting from logic, knowledge, documentation, analysis, representation, the last, more, I think more important, is communication. Uh, uh, 
uh, now um, we are uh, working with uh, new technologies like scanner laser. 18 years ago, we started with uh, an ancient lake. No, it was not lake, but it was silent, silent scanner laser. And can stages <laughs> I'm smiling because it was now it's it, it's really archaic because uh, it was very heavy, very slow, uh, static, <laughs> not, not dynamic, and so. Um, but we found it at the end, uh, at, at the beginning, and uh, uh, two things that was one important point for the uh, documentation, uh, architecture, and archaeology. So this. <clears throat> These technologies for us are very important for representing archaeological architecture. architecture. There are AA. Oh, uh, some important points. Uh, as I told you before, interaction between different skills, because we have, in this way, the only way to obtain quality in the information. Um, feedback between uh, disclosure and uh, use of cultural heritage. Heterogeneity about data and users. Uh, a very important point process of understanding the basis of the communication. We have to find a way to communicate a lot of data that we manage every day. Uh, if the image becomes the communication mode, we live in the image uh, period. We, are, we have a, a lot of images. Uh, fruition is another important point on immersive and interactive. So, inter interaction on different languages to evolve the traditional concept of virtual environment where all the users increase its knowledge path. And I think an, an important point digital archives. Uh, we have knowledge spread all over the world, really all over the world. And also the managing of the increasing amount of data. Oh. We, as I told you, we have a lot of uh, cases. Uh, we started. I started with the, the uh, survey of Aja Sofia 18 years ago with the Sire, Sirex scanner laser. Uh, we, build, uh, we found a lot of information, new information about the distortion of the, 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 the dome. We had uh, St. Peter's, uh, St. Gallo, a lot of theaters, uh, Petra, and so on. Um, so um, now we want to, f to start to organize and uh, to understand better. Uh, what we had and what we can do in the future. Uh, goals. Um, simplification of the process of knowledge uh, by digital tools for representation and communication. Uh, cutting edge technologies uh, for fast acquisitions, obviously. Um, obviously on non contact survey and data sharing. So 3D laser scanner, gigaphoto or gigaphoto, image-based modeling. So, um, also, uh, we uh, think this is really important, the representation and construction of 2D and 3D models. And obviously, is the start point for cross and dynamic uh, reading and obtain new information. <sighs> Documentation analysis, communication, and archaeologists architecture. Well, uh, it's important. I, sometimes during the session I asked about details, uh, scales. And for, for us it's really important and we, uh, obviously being an architect, we want to uh, think about three important uh, architectural scale. Small, this is a Janus Arc, Arch, Pantheon, and Colosseum. Uh, thinking about uh, Janus Arc as a small uh, architecture, medium Pantheon, and huge or large Colosseum. Um, uh, there are some things that link together Janus Arch and Pantheons. Uh, 
the methodology, obviously, and only on methodologies. We start with a complex 3D survey to a complex 3D survey. Uh, when we spoke about a complex 3D survey, we spoke about uh, we speak about integration of methodologies from direct and indirect survey. For us, direct uh, is traditional when you touch uh, the surfaces and uh, indirect or non-contact for us are all the features that help to acquire an amount, a large amount of data uh, with uh, scanners, uh, cameras, gigafoto and so on. What, what we want to uh, obtain? Obviously a multi-level dynamic documentation. First example. Uh, Janus Arch complex survey integration of methodologies no, is a, the uh, Janus Arch is close to the um, Foro Romano. Uh, it was damaged a wow, lot of years ago with a bomb. They restored uh, the monument, and we had. Uh, the possibility to acquire the data with some friends from Spain, archaeologists from maybe Extremadura, that were uh, digging there, trying to find the cloaca maxima. <laughs> and we were there with our instruments, uh, trying to find the uh, acquire, acquisition of the John the, the Search, but also the uh, digging phases for stratigraphy. Uh, complex survey, as you see here, you uh, will see stations because we started with topographic acquisition, a polygonal, just to control the level of detail, it's an open polygonal, or, or better, a part is open and a part is closed. Um, points, targets, points, or important points. Uh, we, uh, re virtual registration of all the scans. As you can see, the different uh, views of the data obtained by the scan. Uh, uh, so, the process. Uh, starting from the uh, numerical model, so the point cloud. Uh, we want to uh, 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 start <coughs> analyzing the RGB data uh, about the frequency. Um, sometimes or often it helps to have a better comprehension of shapes and on conservation and deterioration of the environment. How we work trying to find a way to describe better these uh, elements. First of all, uh, we work on the uh, numeric model with a transformation on 3D mesh. So it's, we are starting, we have approximation because we uh, are creating a, a lot of surveys, surfaces. The texturizing, so uh, uh, the 2D model to, with a texture obtained with a very high resolution camera and uh, the, uh, and we applied the, uh, the texture on the uh, 3D survey. So we started with a model like that. With, it was not sufficient detailed uh, for the study, arriving to this uh, detail applying with uh, projectivity. So, uh, joint, we project, we projected on each point of the survey the corresponding point of RGB photo. 2D model, geometric, we call it geometric because we want to analyze, to uh, assign the important uh, point that describes the, sur the surface. 2D model again, geometric, architectonic. Texturize, texturizing the, the 2D model with a uh, uh, photo. Details have to run. Uh, 3D point cloud, 3D point uh, reflectancy, and mesh. 
working on reflectancy, numerical model, on the right uh, RGB data from the scanner, on the left elaboration of RGB data from the scanner. Level of details, surface, meshing and texturizing uh, of the uh, uh, shape of the, the model. Second case, study Pantheon. Everybody knows. Uh, numerical uh, model, working on reflectancy, reflectancy again. <laughs> Another important point, we compared, we compared the survey with the drawing, which was ancient drawing, which is in, in uh, Piazza Augusto Imperatore, and we surveyed the uh, lines because literature said that from the port, Romans bring uh, material there, drawing on the field, the front, and they compose it there with all the, all the things. So <coughs> we can say that it was not exactly the same. Still working with the reflectancy and the level of details on the uh, cloud points, arriving to analyze the proportion uh, speaking about Roman proportion of uh, Roman uh, constructions. More, analyzing the dome, geometry, uh, radius, dimensions, shadows. The last, Colosseum, we started in 1999, work in progress. We changed a lot of tools and methodologies, digital tools, Obviously, only non contact survey, integration of methodologies for 2D and 3D representation. Everybody knows Colosseum. First study 2D model of all the Colosseum with a topographic survey, uh, a closed polygonal outside. <sighs> Photogrammetry, as we came out 30 years ago. A lot of frames, dividing uh, in all the levels that we used to stay with a group and two towards one with a winter and co uh, taking pictures. And we used all this material to obtain 2D model. It was a big uh, and important uh, development of the research. 2D models, geometric and archaeological on the uh, architectonical on the right. Now, laser scanner, which is completely the resolution of details, numerical model, a detail of well, numerical model. Gigaphoto. We are starting to work a lot with Gigaphoto. It's a high, very high, huge resolution on uh, pixel with a, a particular camera. So we divided uh, the area in four links and we started to obtain that result, detail, for we are accurate, so we can uh, think about 2D models and 3D models. So all the four links, we detach uh, uh, parts of that, we draw the geometric uh, uh, drawing and we apply the gigaphone. So, what about representing archaeological architecture? What we think now about that? The increasing use of digital tools and technologies for representation allow to bring together heterogeneous information for the understanding of analyzed objects. 2D and 3D models are objective and geometric sites, shape, formal characters. This data is the basis for all the critical, selective, specialistic, and uh, specialistic analysis and elaboration. Another important point that we have to work a lot are digital archives will be probably open databases where it's, of, uh, where, where it's always, always possible to increase with all the new research. So, open databases. Digital integrated representation allows us to compare different models, 
knowledge is always that is often the basis and it's only the basis for communication and all models are essential for the process of dissemination. Thank you.